my colleagues said, there is a, a lot of a grave around the churches in La Libola. And it's why um, in 2010, Claire and Marie-Laure uh, asked me to, to come to join to the mission and to, to try to, to do something with uh, this uh, grave. So uh, I will try to, to show you some, uh, some results uh, about these uh, different missions. What, what, what was important uh, in La Libella? It was, it was first to do a, a survey of the grave and of the cemetery, because uh, as you, you say, uh, you, uh, as you saw, uh, there is a, a different uh, phases in the site, and maybe a lot of graves could be uh, destroyed by the, the evolution <coughs> of the site. And it will be, uh, it was important to to locate it, the different cemetery. And if the graves uh, were uh, good preserved, it could be important to, to start an excavation of the, of the graves. If you, uh, if you work around the, the, uh, around the churches, you can, uh, you can see a lot of uh, empty uh, pits, empty funeral pits. So, uh, yeah, for example, here. And uh, th 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 there is a also a recent cemetery. For example, here we have uh, uh, funerals. So the, the site it's always used as a cemetery, but the cemetery uh, uh, currently are not close to the, to the churches. So it could it could po it could be possible to uh, uh, to to work uh, to work around the, the churches and to study the funeral uh, pit. But the problem. Uh, a part of the uh, graves were emptied during the 70s, uh, but so it's why there is uh, a lot of uh, emptied pits around the churches. So, wh what is possible to, to study on this type of site? So, uh, I will show you. First, we, we do a, a, a survey around the churches and we find uh, several graves uh, a little bit conserved. So we, we could start a little excavation very close to the church, close to Golgotha. We excavated one grave during, uh, it was a very quick excavation, but uh, it was possible to have uh, some uh, data about the funeral practice and some bond for uh, datings. So it, it was a, a, a burial in a, a directly in, in a pit, and they cover the grave with a, maybe a hood cover. And what is important, we, we, we could do uh, some datings, uh, but this uh, grave uh, was very recent, maybe uh, from the 18th century uh, until the 20s. And we know uh, by the archives uh, uh, that some grave, uh, some people were uh, buried uh, uh, at the beginning of the 20s, around the churches. So it could be a recent occupation. Very close to the churches, it's possible to see other type of pits. We, we did a, a survey, for example, you, you, you can see uh, the different shapes of uh, burial pits. And uh, on the second group, we, uh, we did a, a, a global survey of the, of the grave. We, we record all the uh, burial pits and we, we try to do uh, uh, um, uh, a global uh, uh, analysis. But all these graves were emptied. So it's, it's only possible to, to study the shape of, the, of these uh, graves, for example. But there is a, a sort of diversity. Sometimes the graves are uh, vertical, sometimes uh, uh, they are, they are uh, horizontal, and sometimes there is a, a, um, a shaft. So, uh, but it's, this uh, shape of grave is important because uh, the grave are too narrow to put a coffin inside. And with a shape, with a shaft, it's not possible to put uh, a body uh, in a coffin. Okay, with a coffin. Uh, another thing, it's the location of these different uh, 
fits. Sometimes uh, the, uh, the different uh, graves are not in the same level, so the location of the different grave could be informed of the different uh, level and maybe uh, about uh, over digging in the around the, the churches. For example, here you see the different level. So the, they use maybe uh, the the grave at different time. Uh, for example, here. So, uh, another case. You see this grave here, here. So, it could be uh, information about uh, uh, different uh, surface level. And uh, we, we found maybe in uh, churches uh, two uh, trunk coffin. But as uh, I said, you this type of uh, coffin is uh, it's not possible to. To, to, bu to bury this trunk coffin in uh, the narrow pit. But in uh, some uh, churches, they, they are uh, rectang rectangular pits, and maybe this trunk coffin uh, were buried in the churches. And we, we have, other, we have uh, an, uh, an example in a, a site of uh, Gabriel. Uh, the site was uh, excavated in the, in the main region, and they found uh, the, the remnants of uh, a wood uh, coffin in the church. But yeah, that's, that's only the data that uh, we, we could have uh, on the grave directly, only, uh, directly uh, around the churches. By chance, uh, there was a, uh, a discovery <laughs> at the end of the 90s. Uh, it is a site, uh, a site, it's Kudant, maybe uh, it's the same word in, in Hebrew, so uh, it's uh, old ancient, and uh, uh, the people said uh, several uh, human remnants and uh, ceramics, and uh, medieval ceramics. So uh, it could be important to have another focus on the site uh, around the churches, and we change uh, our um, the direction of the, the analysis, and we 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 have with uh, the Kudan site the possibility to excavate to excavate a cemetery, uh, maybe good preserve. Uh, we will see. <laughs> uh, here, uh, the site of Kudan. It's on the top of a, a hill. Here, uh, it's a, a view from from the north. And we, we, we started a, a first excavation in two, uh, 2010, and after we excavated during two campaigns in 2012 and 2014. Uh, it was uh, in, the, in a field, and uh, uh, so this is a, a farm, and uh, we, we excavated very close to the, to the, to the farm. And so it's a, a map, map of the excavation. Uh, in total, we excavated uh, 40 graves, and we found uh, five, seven individuals. So uh, there were uh, bones in secondary position, as uh, I showed you uh, yesterday. Uh, it was important to, uh, to discover where the site was uh, destroyed. So we found uh, several trenches, uh, maybe, uh, they, uh, maybe uh, did during the, the end of the 90s. First problem with this site, it's a preservation of the bones. You see, a very, very small pieces. Uh, yes. Ah. But there is a reason. There, is, there are a lot of termites on the site. And the termites uh, love bones. <laughs> and we found uh, all the nests of termites in the site. This is a, and on the bones, we found the marks of the termites. So uh, the problem of the conservation of the site is, uh, uh, is due to the termites. So, uh, for example, here. With the, it is very important to, to have this information, because when you see that, uh, this, this type of holes, uh, you say, w what is it? But if you have this uh, environment uh, information, it could be important. Uh, so, but we we can excavate several pits, 
uh, in the majority the, the pits are uh, are dug, dug in the in the bedrock. Maybe we don't have the upper layer because uh, it's a field, and uh, the upper layer of the ground uh, were uh, were destroyed by the the agricultural works. But sometimes we have interesting uh, shape. You see the the hand of the grave are uh, overding, so it's not possible to bury a coffin inside. You have to to move the body like this. So it's the first uh, uh, nice information about the funeral practice. Uh, we found some slab stones in place. That is very interesting because we have two types of slab stones. Uh, some slab stones are from the, the place and other slab stones are from the site of the churches. So it was a, a slab stones in a basalt. So it, it's very interesting to have this uh, information. And we found bones. But sometimes it was easier to, to, to excavate, and sometimes it was a little bit more complex to excavate. Uh, we found reuse of graves and a lot of, of overlappings. Uh, so it, it was uh, like in a, a parish cemetery. So yeah. We could uh, find some uh, biological data and some data on the funeral practice some different orientation, and I will explain uh, what we can do with this different data. Uh, but the, the big problem in medieval Ethiopia is uh, the chronology of the ceramics. It's not possible to date, as in at least uh, uh, there is uh, not a good chronology of the ceramics. So uh, it, it was very important to, to date a lot of skeletons in a cemetery. But by chance, uh, we, we can separate a big, uh, three big phases. Is that it, it was very important to understand the evolution of the site. Phase A, B, C, okay. Uh, what is important, a part of the, of the chronology of the site, it's contemporary to the use of, of the church. But we have the first phase uh, uh, was uh, was after the, the use of the, the, the after the churches, as uh, Romain uh, show you for the, the other settlement. So, it, with this cemetery, it's very important. We have a, a cemetery used uh, during uh, all the use of the La Libella site. Uh, before the excavation, there was only uh, excavation. Uh, using uh, archaeotanatological method, so uh, for the moment we don't have a lot of uh, uh, comparison data. It's, uh, the site of uh, Marshall Marian Gabriel, and, uh, but this site uh, was used only. Uh, the cemetery was used only from the 15th and the 70s. So you see in Kedant we have a, a, a more a, a larger uh, larger chronology. So we could uh, do a reference of the evolution of funeral practice uh, in, uh, for the medieval Ethiopia. Uh, this is a site. Uh, I will present the, f uh, the, the different phases. Uh, I will begin with the end. And after, we, we go uh, more down. Uh, for the, the phase C, it's very important because we have a lot of graves and the majority of graves are oriented east-west, and during these phases, it's the grave. Uh, there is a lot of destruction and uh, they, uh, they, they, uh, a lot of overlappings. Overlapping. Uh, so, for example, here, and we didn't find ceramics in uh, the, the, the grave, so it's uh, we don't have evidence of food coffin. Uh, we found. Uh, an, uh, Cover pit and no funerary material, so it's uh, it's important to uh, to have it in uh, in mind. Uh, and another point during these phases, there is a, um, a an area for the children. For example, we have a superposition of seven burial of children in the same area. So there. there there was an organization of the cemetery during this, uh, this period. Uh, 
We know that in, 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 during the 16th, 16th century, uh, there was a church called uh, Kedent Michael. So it could maybe a church in this place, and maybe the cemetery was in connection with this uh, church. Uh, for the, the other phase, it's more complicated because we don't have a lot of data. But uh, there is maybe uh, a stop in the use of the cemetery. So th th there is a, a layer of ceramics. So it could be uh, something changed around the 15th century in this site. We found ceramics, cooking pots, plates. Uh, this is a work, uh, the work of uh, Anis Goujon. And it's, it's very important. We, we didn't find some uh, carinet vases. So it's, uh, it's uh, something very important. To, uh, to have in mind. Uh, af oh, <laughs> uh, after, uh, before, uh, there is a, a totally different uh, use of cemetery. The graves are not uh, oriented east-west, and there is a, a terrace uh, to close the cemetery. And for the first phase of the cemetery, uh, it's uh, totally different. We have the terrace, we have a several steps to go inside the cemetery, and we found several graves with different orientation. So it's very important. So, but some graves follow the limits of the terrace. So it, it's very important. It's not sure that it's a cultural orientation, but maybe due to the uh, terrace. So, and we find some. Uh, uh, so, some material, funeral material, ceramics, a glass bead, some fragment of bronze, iron, and the body was not on the back. There was sometimes on the side, on, on the belly, so it was completely different. What is very important? You see the datation of this phase. It's uh, middle events uh, uh, until the middle 13th. So we, we are before the creation of the churches, and maybe we can connect this uh, phase of the cemetery with the settlement uh, that, uh, which uh, Romain uh, say, uh, spoke. Uh, we found different ceramics, uh, several uh, bowls or jat, or, and uh, carinet ceramic. So there is a change uh, during the, the use of cemetery. And okay, so it's we, we have an evolution of cemetery. Uh, but maybe there was a first uh, phase, funeral phase, because one of the most of the most uh, ancient graves uh, was closed by several slabs, and we found one stella <coughs> in one stella in the cover. So maybe it could from an ancient grave, and you see the grave destroyed a, a round piece. So it would be uh, the, the remains of an ancient grave. And we, for example, we know this type of grave in the south of uh, Ethiopia. So, Kedent was, uh, is an important site to understand the evolution of the surrounding of La Libella churches, because we, we can compare uh, the change of funeral practice with the change of the use of the La Libella site. It's always a, a work in progress, and we have a next research to, to do, and uh, I hope that uh, uh, we will present you maybe uh, in, the, in the future a new result about uh, the connection between the cemetery of Cadams, the cemetery, the grave around the churches, and the evolution of the site of uh, La Libera. Thank you for your attention.